Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? I know what we have. Hopefully it's not damaged because that can leave a damage. Sweet, let's go unbox. I hope you guys can hear me. I've got my mic on, but I'm outside and it's loud. Install video, eBay aluminum radiator, C10 LS swap. So the first thing we're gonna do is drain the water that is in this. It doesn't have coolant, just water because we put the motor together and just wanted to fire it up. Didn't like the customer's fan and radiator situation, so we talked him into buying aluminum radiator that I've had success with in the past. Never made a video, so figured we make a video. I also clear coated the edges with a satin clear coat finish just to uh, help keep it sheen a little longer. Alright, so let's get to it. Anyway, undoing the radiator hoses, taking the radiator out, I'll undo this clamp, and then we'll uh, see what I need for mounts on the bottom of the new one, and get it done. So I'm going to turn you off now and time lapse you. Here we go. So during this time lapse and the next couple of clips, I'm just going to blah, 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 a little bit, because I have not figured out how to insert music that is not copyrighted without having copyright strikes and I kind of forgot to turn on my mic a couple of times so this when the sound does come back that was like take number three or attempt number three I don't really do takes I just kind of download everything off the GoPro onto the phone then use iMovie to create everything I don't even do any real editing editing at all anyway let's uh let's go ahead and speed all this up get a little bit forward here i'm just taking out the old radiator and prepping the new radiator to go in uh, sometimes the bolts are loose on the fan shroud uh, the fan was attached very well but the shroud was still a little bit loose and we uh, cleaned up these top mounts a little bit as well as put some rubber isolators on the bottom uh, but all in all the radiator fit very well so here we go That profound, confused look I have on my face right now is me going, hmm, where do I want these mounts to go? Can we put them into bolt holes that are already in here so I don't have to add any extra holes? Hmm. Yep, we found some. Wouldn't you know it, I did it again. The next clip I'll do over, I promise. I promise. Um, this is me just showing a little bit of rubber isolators I did and how I painted the... Uh, you know what? Let's just start over and I'll tell you all about it. How about that? Here we go. All right, so I just made a clip. Don't think I had audio. I made another clip and don't think I pressed start. Fan shroud is on. Fans are in. Teflon tape on these two pieces. And that's pretty much all I had to do to the radiator itself. Painted my clamps. And we got some quarter inch pieces of rubber on the bottom in three different spots. And then we're gonna put the clamps there. So because all the noise out here in the road, we're going to uh, time lapse ya. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Put you back up in the air. Be right back. Radiator is installed. The uh, top hose fought me a little bit. It's just a hair bigger than the dimensions it's supposed to be, but a little bit of lube and it fixed it right on up. Clamps are in. She's not going nowhere. Protect it on the bottom. Bottom clamp is in. Good and tight. Good and tight. All right, so 
So now I'm going to wire up the fans, find the trigger wire off the Holly system, and then we'll uh, add water, check for leaks. If I don't have any leaks, we'll drain some of the water and put coolant in. So let's uh, let's wire up the fans. Figure out if I want to do one relay or two. Yep, but anyway, the radiator is installed and it looks good. I like it. Be right back. Here's the Holly trigger system. I ordered uh, four more relays, even though I'm only going to use two, uh, just to have a couple in stock. Off the old Amazon, I don't like the relay that comes with this fan kit because it's a ground trigger relay, but it also has a ring for the ground. So that means if somebody hooked this up without paying attention, their shit's gonna run constantly. So I'm gonna redo that. But anyway, uh, we just topped off the fluid, so we're gonna crank it up, let it run the temperature, and check for leaks. I need to go to AA. I sure do. And we're going anonymous. Anyway, we got the relays in. A couple for the truck and a couple to keep in stock. Four pins. So, positive in, positive out. A trigger, if you will, saying ignition source keyed switch on, saying okay will allow you to do everything and then ground trigger for the device the fan or whatever to work which will be positive through the blue one and then grounded through a ground somewhere so ground trigger oh let's see if this has got a diagram these usually do yes so a four pin they're gonna focus Yeah, I don't know. So device, ground, positive going to the device, ground trigger coming from your whatever toggle switch or in my case the Holly Terminator X and then the battery. You can double up the battery but I'm going to do the uh, switch source on that one. Yep, yep. Anyway, I'll show you. We'll do two of them. This just came in the middle. I don't want to get it way on the ground because I was not here. All right, time to go home and we'll do it tomorrow. As you can gloriously see, it is another day. Um, we had a hurricane Ian come through, so I had to take some time off. Shop got flooded. And another personal issue, kidney stone. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, quick little update. There's my relays. Got it wired into this leads going to the fans. This group of leads coming from the batteries. And then I got two black ones down there that's gonna go to the fans. And then that's my trigger wires. That's my signal wires. Positive, and negative. So the negative obviously is gonna go straight to the fans off the battery. Not with the Holly system, I'm leaving those alone. Yep, so let's, uh, we got one, two, three, four, we got about six more crimps to make. And I try to, I get a little hydraulic press thing, I try to uh, heat shrink everything, make it all pretty. Oh, the noise with the trucks. All right, anyway, let me get uh, a little bit more work done. It's only about an hour, and I'll come back to you. I wanted to show you this real quick before I loom it. I always kind of wrap it good and tight with a couple of small zip ties just to make sure it's going to route where I want to and not have too much play in one wire versus the other wire. So I'm going to loom all that. Gonna loom, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six strands of I think 10 gauge the fans a little on the heavy side but it's fans so be precautious 40 amp relays yep it's 
So now I'll do my uh, terminal connections on the fans and uh, my last two on the relay. And then I'll loom it. Loom it, loom it, loom it. And then my signal wires, I forgot. I still got to do those. Yep. Anyway, makes it nice and neat. Kind of get an idea where it's going to run. And you can shorten up one or lengthen one or whatever you need to do to make it all look better. Yep. Here we go. Also, real quick, what I use, good side crimpers, cutters, a good crimper with all the leverage, my strippers, my heat shrinker, weatherproof connectors, whether it's the butt style or the spade style, and then heat shrink on those to identify positive, negative, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Rolls of heat shrink. Yep. That's pretty much the gist of the toolage. The toolage! Don't be the toolage. Look at that sparkle. Now I gotta repaint the front. Alright, here we go. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Also, subscribe. Hit the like button. Subscribe. No! We have all the terminals terminated. There's my trigger wire from the Holly ECU. Boom. This one's my switched wire. Got the fans done with the rather strip spade connectors. Going all the way to the battery. I think I'm going to zip tie the loom to the bottom of the radiator core support versus that frame piece, but I left plenty of slack either way. Gonna bolt the fans down right here. Yep, 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 yep. Came out pretty nice. So now we need to uh, wrap it up, make it look pretty. So let's do that. Wrap it up with some loom. And crank her up and uh, program the fans on the Holly Terminator X. But either way, that is my relay install. My Alloy Works aluminum fan with a quality control sticker. It passed. <laughs> Fans work, they do their job. This thing was running 190, 195. I like it, especially for the price. Now, how long will the fans last? I don't know. That is the big topic of debate. Let the fans constantly run every time you crank it, or let them on and off, on and off, on and off. When you do on and off, the uh, that's when the fans pull their most amps and do their most damage. I don't know. Either way, big dirty thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Okay. So we got the harness in. Wirecare.com split loom, woven split loom with tester tape on the ends, tester tape on the uh, junctions, tester tape on that section because I didn't have a uh, diameter small enough for that. Bigger section there, all the way down, tester taped up the leads, got it ran underneath the radiator. Ran all the way to here. The split loom, some tough stuff. The test tape's pretty good too. That, that woven split loom from wire care. You can't cut it with that, you can't cut it with that. You kind of got to use all that, then add one of those. And the test tape, we use for um, a lot of audio stuff and it makes the harnesses look real good. and holds up real well. There's a couple of different types. You got a high heat section and then a regular. But yeah, that looks a whole lot better, doesn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Not bad. Anyway, installed, wired up, relays, whole nine yards. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Got the fans wired in. Got it all loomed up. Relays. Two pigtails. All the way to the battery. came on when it was supposed to. I love it. Hey.
Even at idle, not moving, just at idle, seems to stay around 194 to 199. Uh, I haven't had the second fan trigger yet. I've got it set to come on at 200. First fan comes on at 190. We've been running for about 30 minutes. There we go. Let's go check it. First one, yes. Second one, yes. All right. Both triggers work. I like it. But that that aluminum uh, is obviously more efficient than the the plastic one. So, yep. Big dirty thumbs up. It's a good. It's a good deal.